Good, okay, so let's do our second one. From here, there's gonna be multiple ways that you can elect to do this. And what it depends on, the point of the story is gonna be the same each time, okay? So from here, just from Yoi, attack is gonna come straight in because we're doing this in a Kihon Epon sense, right? You're going to use Sen no Sen, right? The idea of the millisecond they go, you just throw the pie in the face at the same time, right? You're gonna take advantage of the fact that you're not an orangutan, okay? And you're, well, except for Matt, no, I'm kidding. Matt's so gonna slap me. That his legs are longer than his arms, right? And what we're going to do is we're just going to stand here, make your kogeri kiregeo straight off, step in and hit. Okay, so this is straight out of the kata. So you're simply going to rotate, expand into your kogeri kiage, place the foot and hit yuchi. Okay, it's just going to be directed to the front. So from here, just off the spot, and then I'm going to show you a couple of variations that, that happen right within this. So from here, have the feeling of just here, straight off the bat, you see them flinch as they're about to move, and just snap, boom, in, then hit. Right, so it's the same action here, place, then push, right into the technique. So, you ready? From here, let's try a few. Itch, one and two. Good. Now, a couple of things that you can think about as you're doing this, your target, depending on how young or old you are, your target does not have to be chudan. You can aim it into the reverse leg coming in, into the groin, into the, either the femoral of either this leg stepping in, bang, hit. You can aim it into this leg here, anything to unbalance them. The purpose of the kiage is the same as Remember in Gerambra, I was talking about how you can use this hand as it's loading to do something. You can use this outward action to do something, right? If you're coming screaming in at me, I just reach with this hand, whoa, and then blah, boom, boom, boom. I just don't bring it straight up. I bring it out and in, right? I just change the course of my forearm. This is the same idea. If I did that, you would tear into me. I throw this out in front of you to make the block. That would immediately cause you to do this as you're stepping in. You see what I mean? Just with that eye sweep, that eye gouge. With the Yoko Giri Kiage, you have the same feeling. Here, in comes the attack, oh, boom, ah, and then hit. It makes, oh, this. Which brings their head exactly where you want to be able to hit it. Does that make sense? So it's the idea of sen no sen. This idea here. So, if we're here, we take the technique, so let's just try it a few times, just going off the front, off the left leg, Kicking straight in, itch, one, feel, and then throw. Also, if you want, I'm using Yoko Giri Kiage because that fits the kata. Do I have to use Yoko Giri Kiage? I could use Maya Giri just as well, right? I can use either straight Maya Giri in, I could use the curved, I could use a cutting kick, right? They don't all have to be just straight in. They can cut to the angle, they can cut to the angle, or I can just use the side kick and go in, whatever. But the point is, is that I hit, place, and then drive my center in. I hit, place, then use this, this potential energy to then drive and hit. Does that make sense? It doesn't matter what kick, the purpose of the kick is just to stop them, to make them flinch, to make them second guess as they're attacking. Okay? Right, so let's try. I prefer Yoko Giri Kiage, choose your level, just because it forces you to turn your hip and then you've got more rotation. But if you want to try the kicks, the Maigiris, boom, place, boom, and then hit. That's fine as well. Okay, ready? Itch! Good, and back. Knee! Good. Don't forget also, there's an arak in there, yeah? So as you do the kick, oh, kick! Put the arak out, right? What does the arak do? Well, if they're coming in, it's your insurance policy, basically, right? So if you're here, if you're lucky, punch is coming in, this takes the bite out of the punch, you can just smack him in the face with the arak on the way, 
Alternatively, if your distance isn't quite there and you, needed to get, you need to get in closer, this also can serve as a block with a down, up, wherever. This is just basically a ganamrai, a soft gait arm to be sure. And what you can do is you can either strike it in horizontally into the target or you can make it like hair knee done and push it into the arm, into the bicep, into the technique that's coming into the shoulder. So you end up with this idea of just stopping. Boom. Boom. Right? Again, we're modifying the cutter but keeping the principles the same. Does that make sense? So you can play with that. Ready? It's one. One. Two. Back. Knee. Good. So remember, you want this and this, same time. Boom. Hands already out. Boom. Out. Here. Boom. Out. And your rakan, don't feel like you're, you've got to be the sort of, I am a karate robot, I must do things in basic form. Itch. Knee. Sun, she, right? You can throw it up and from here, just throw it like a jab, but just snap. So let your elbow, if you see it from the front, if I did a just straight drag, boom, it just goes in, I throw that with the punch. You see what I mean? It just happens naturally. Now just throw the elbow, keep this soft, and then snap it, it turns into a rakan. But the course of the elbow between a jab and a rakan is the same. It doesn't have to change, it's just the course my forearm takes. You see? So as I do this, if I did it just stepping forward, because I mean, whoop, in, right, boom, in, and I can here, up, here. They're the same thing. You see what I mean? Okay, so let's try it. Boom, good. Knee. Good, one more. Sun. Good. And again, there's lots of variations in there. The second thing I want to do is from here, allow you to play with it a little bit. So from here, all I want you to do now is just take half a step forward. You might, what could differ, what could vary is they may be super close to you. They might be super far away. You might be inherently short, right? Whenever I stand in a photo next to Paulina, for example, she's about this tall next to me, even though I think she's the same size as me, right? Her legs are not as long as mine. Her attack, if I was attacking her, she would have to break distance to be able to get on me quick enough. So therefore, what you can try here is the part out of the cutter, which is this. The purpose of this is to cover distance. That's why the half step's there. Right? So as you step, how do we apply that to something like Ippon Kumite? Just make a step and kick and drive. Break the distance. You see what I mean? But then bear in mind now that the block, you, might, you don't want to walk into this thing like this. Because you're going to wear it, right? Make sure that you bring your hands up to make the arak and make sure these are in front of you if you need them. You see what I mean? So as you step, now go to the more classic type of scenario, but keep it loose. Right? So it's here, step, oh, ah, boom, and hit. So have the feeling of simply push, kick, wah, wah, just continuing your body weight in. Okay, your turn. Ready? Try and make it fluid. Try not to make it... Try and just make it one fluid natural action. Make this, boom, step hit. Because in the cutter, it should not be this. That's pointless. That's good when you're learning. But if you want to apply, it must be here. In. One big fluid action. Right, ready? So, half step. Just a half step to allow you to cover that extra foot distance that you need to make good sen or sen, to hit them on the button. Even make it sen, sen or sen. Hit them while their intention is there rather than the technique. Right, ready? Ish! Good, again. Knee! Chi! 
Good. One more. Go! Good. So, okay, this time, let's pretend this time that they're super long. Now it's the opposite case scenario where you've got somebody huge stepping in on you and you've got to get, you've got to create distance. So let's take what we learned out of Kankudai this time, which is simply pull back and expand, right? Or out of Sorchin, right? Whoa, and out, right? That pulling back action. So you can probably already guess, instead of stepping forward, step back, make the kick and then drive in, right? Step back, make the kick, drive in. This feeling that creates distance for maybe you're a little bit late. Maybe they've got really freaking long arms. Do you know what I mean? You can play with it that way. Okay, ready? Ish! Knee! Don't forget about the Araka, and that's your insurance policy. You may use it, you may not, but feel. Feel. Almost need your shiho feeling. Feel. Huh. Oh, ah, there. You see what I mean? Use your other cutter. Use need your shield to make the technique you want. Sun. Good. One more. Chi. Good. One more. Go. Good. And relax. And again, don't forget. It doesn't have to be Yorkwiti. I'm doing Yorkwiti because it falls in line with the kata, right? But reality time, I just step out and boom, just front kick, you know what I mean? Boom, and snap it into the quadricep. Here, boom, snap it into the other leg, you know what I mean? To just stop them at that point. Kicking it into the hip, right? You, if you look at Muay Thai, they have these beautiful kicks called a push kick. We don't use them in Shotokan so much, but they're almost here, this almost pumping of the leg. Right? And if you've ever been kicked by them, they push them right here into the hip. Right? And what that does is when that hits you in the hip, it just stops you dead. It makes you do this. It folds you. Right? And it's not from a fold from being kicked in the gut. It's a fold from being kicked into a fulcrum of your body. Right? And that puts you into that. And as Matt's sort of saying, yeah, Matt's sort of pointing out in Gion, uh, Gion, uh, Jite, Right, the idea of these, bang, kick them into the hip, fold them in half, and use the next technique. You know, these kinds of actions. Do you know what I mean? So you don't have to play it by the kata rules. The kata's there as a suggestion, but understand the principles, right? The first principle we've talked about here was this idea of using double hands, using that rotation. The second principle here is sen or sen, hit them, stop them, then bash, drive in. Or if we need to, cover the distance to make the hit. Or create the distance to be able to make the hit. You know what I mean? And judge that on your timing, on your distance, on the length of your legs and your understanding of your mind, your distance. 